Yesterday, I opened that John Mbadi, who is the ODM National Chairman, and the CS Senator, James Orengo, were right constitutionally to oppose the image of Jomo Kenyatta on the new currencies. While at the same time, they were politically wrong to oppose the move. And after they made the statement opposing uh, the new currencies, Junet Mohammed, who is one of the close allies of Raila Odinga, hurriedly called for a press conference in, uh, in Parliament building. And he was accompanied by several ODM legislators. And in their press conference, they reinstated their support for the new currencies. And at that point, I knew that was actually the, the position of Raila Amolo Odinga. And the same yesterday, later on, John Mbadi, who is the ODM chairman, called a press conference again. And in that press conference, he issued what he referred to as the ODM position on the new currencies. And in my view, that is Raila Amolo Odinga's position on the new currencies. So let's listen in to John Mbadi. ...of the party that we balance that with one public interest to economic considerations because these, these notes have been printed. It is not correct to say that the party has called for a recall of those notes. The party is saying the notes that have been printed can still be used just like we were using the other notes which had uh, the portraits of the first president and the second president uh, which we have used until and we are going to use until 1st of October if the date is not changed including the 1000 shillings but what we are saying is when new notes will be printed again then the central bank needs to ensure that uh, the constitution is fully complied with we don't want to leave ambiguity we don't want to allow room uh, for people to debate whether we have violated the constitution or not it is very simple uh, just print notes without any image as the constitution dictates article 231 of the constitution we cannot um, just uh, keep quiet uh, when issues of constitutionality are mentioned but i want to be categorically clear that the party is not calling for a call of the notes that have already been issued those notes should continue being in circulation but we are asking central bank to now start thinking of how to face them out because notes uh, have a lifespan they are they will expire anyway so when those notes expire and when they are returned uh, to the central bank let the new notes that will be printed and issued now fully comply to the constitution and uh, i want to just say that that is the position of the party and i want to ask the members of odm uh, that there should be no contradictions there should be no uh, exchanges about this because i don't think it adds value uh, to the party uh, let us now concentrate on other more meaningful more important assignments we have a lot of issues ahead of us issues of referendum we have issues of corruption to fight and talk about we have issues of education you can see teachers have issues with the tsc and even the ministry of education we have a lot in our plate we have a lot of issues with the debt in this country the budget process has just kicked in so let us now focus and refocus our minds to the most important uh, issues that affect the country. I want to conclude by saying that the party has talked about two things. We support the new currencies and we want the old currency, especially the 1,000 note, to be rendered, uh, to, to cease being legal tender by 1st of August, not 1st of October. And two, we are saying when new notes will be produced again after this set that has been produced let us fully comply uh, because there was a reason why Kenyans said they don't want a face of anybody or a portrait of anyone in that uh, on that note thank you very much any question yes and it is in english say yes, yes sir. i have to one is that what what is the hurry of saying that we do an illegality as of now then we try to correct that illegality in the future why can't we patient and make sure that we are we have done all we need to do according to the constitution two the the constitution also talks about the the money that is uh, in circulation not losing value that it cannot just lose value by a, a decree and we have seen that um what what uh, the cbk is doing is that by second then the thousand notes will have lost value 
Is it that also unconstitutional? You know, I don't want us to throw the baby with the bathwater. The most important thing is we need to ask ourselves, why is, did the uh, Central Bank of Kenya decide to make a surprise move in introducing uh, new notes? I think the answer is obvious. We, as a country, have realized that there are people in this country who keep money away from the formal financial system. There is black market in this country, and that black market is hurting the economy of this country, and these are proceeds of corruption. There is money laundering taking place in people's houses, people's uh, private places, and that is what the central bank wanted to cure. That, to me, is a bold move, and as a party, we support that bold move. And that is why we are ready to compromise on any other aspect of it. And by the way, this is a matter that can be sorted out very uh, amicably by facing out those notes going forward. If anything, really, I think it was just decent. Kenyans had a reason why they didn't want the portrait, uh, because we are not uh, so homogeneous as we, we would think as a country. Uh, so when we see someone's portrait's note because of the ethnicity in this country, we always associated um, the notes to be belonging to some section of this society. In that case, Kenyans decided to pass uh, put in the Constitution, Article 231. But uh, about the legality, about withdrawal of currency, ETC, that one you will get as many interpretations as you have lawyers in this country. And I don't want to get to that uh, point. Yes. Yesterday, a section of the ODM members were not uh, having any issue with the portrait being there even in the subsequent printing of the currency. Yes. And today you are saying the party position is that when they do the next printing, it should be of any image or portrait or a statue of anybody. Is, is the party talk, talking from different states? You know, I'm aware that there are some ODM members who spoke about this matter yesterday. And uh, by the way, in our party, there's freedom of speech and freedom of expression. And by the way, the position I'm giving you, I'm giving you the position of ODM as a party. And, and I've given it very clearly as the chairman of ODM. Uh, the, 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 I think the miscommunication that came about was that some of us were calling for withdrawal of those notes, which none of us have, has called for the withdrawal of the notes. We only said that the notes, any action that we take as a country, we should comply fully. And by the way, criticism is not bad. You criticize the person you love. And you criticize when you think things are not done properly. By the way, central bank is independent. It should not be directed by anybody. So when we talk about the notes, we are addressing central bank. I, don't, I want us to forget about this thinking that we are addressing the president or anybody else. The president is not printing notes. The Constitution, Article 231, is clear it is the central bank of Kenya. And I'm speaking on behalf of ODM. I'm saying we accept the notes. But going forward, when we will be printing new notes, let us try to avoid any ambiguity regarding whether the, that is a portrait or it is a statue, a statue. What is the difference between a portrait and statue? If you, some people will tell you the definition of a portrait includes statue. So we j just want to avoid those ambiguity and no, uh, not to allow lawyers to start interpreting a simple matter as clear as a portrait not being on the note. So we are just advising that going forward, let Central Bank ensure that there is nothing that can be construed to be a portrait of anybody in our notes. And uh, by the way, um, uh, you've talked about my colleagues, uh, say, the lawyers, ETC. Uh, but you see, yes, yesterday you had Kaloma and uh, TJ uh, giving their position as lawyers. But there's also Rengo, Tindiamolo, and, and Sefuna also talking as lawyers. But they're saying different things. And by the way, I'm not the chairman of Law Society of Kenya. I'm chairman of ODM, and the position of ODM, of ODM is what I've said. I'm not speaking for lawyers. I'm not uh, under any obligation to speak for lawyers. So whoever is speaking for lawyers, let him go and speak for lawyers. I'm not chairman of LSK, and I don't aspire to be one. I'm chairman of Orange Democratic Movement Party, and that is the official position. So, so. Yes, yes, Ronnie. Um, yesterday, the that uh, the notes will be there to stay. 
and here you are, you are, you are advising CBK to, to consider the, when they reprint, then they should ensure that the portrait is not there. What, what happens if, uh, even after the reprinting, the image and the portrait are still there in the, in the currency? What, what we don't have to, or what action we don't have to take? We are telling the Central Bank of, you know, the Central Bank of Kenya governor works on behalf of the people of Kenya. And he must be listening also to Kenyans who say that that statue of the president appearing next to KICC amounts to being having a portrait on our notes. So he should listen to this talk and ask himself what value is that statue adding to our notes if it is bringing confusion. You know, that is what we need to ask. It is, this thing is not about who is right and who is wrong and who is legal and who is not legal. The question is, if people have doubts that what you are doing could amount to statue, I mean being a portrait, what does it cost you to avoid where there is that statue and you bring an iconic building uh, uh, as iconic as I KICC? Yes, this is a very iconic building. You can put it in our notes, on our notes. But then, must you put the face where, or the side where the statue of the president is? So let him consider that that may bring unnecessary talk. You can see now there are busy bodies, I call them busy bodies, running to court. Example like Mbogwa, surely. I mean, whoever sent him should have thought of someone serious to send. I mean, the face of Mbugwa is very dangerous. I think Kenyans are really shocked that he's the one who can take a case as important as that. We start asking who has sent him, and I think many of us are already suspecting who has sent him. Well, is so, is it, yes? There is also an argument that uh, the, the statue yes. is part of the design of KICC. There is no KICC without the statue. You've called it an argument. And my, why do we have those arguments in our notes? Why don't we just do something that would minimize or eliminate argument? That is what you are saying. I'm not saying I'm right. Because, I would, as I said, you will get as many interpretations about this as you have lawyers and as you have serious thinkers in this country. I'm one person who probably was persuaded or is still persuaded that that statue amounts to a portrait. There are others who are not persuaded. But the question we are asking, why can't you just do it in a way that people, you don't have question marks, that people are satisfied there is no face of anybody on, the, on our notes. In the meantime, the notes that have been printed, we have no issues with. I mean, does it really hurt this country to have whether even, even the portrait of Mzejo Mokinyata? <coughs> By the way, I think we even made a mistake as a country. That, those are some of the things that uh, I'm, I'm asking myself when we amend our constitution. We should look into why should we outlaw the face of the founding father of our nation? Most countries actually on their notes, they have the faces of the founding fathers. But as the constitution is, you bring a lot of ambiguity, a lot of confusion, and you will get as many interpretations as possible. Now you can see Omutata, uh, Mbogwa, they are rushing to court to challenge something that should be seamless. That is why I'm saying, and I'm not just speaking for myself, we have discussed uh, within the party ranks that we have no problem with the notes, let them be in circulation, but think of going forward. Can't we just then comply fully, where everybody is satisfied we have complied with Article 231? Leader, you have them busy bodies and they, they have a right to go to court. They have a right, even busy bodies have a right to go to court. <laughs> and that is why people lose cases in court, because uh, the courts realize you are a busy body. You, so that that is not really condescending, actually. I'm just saying, uh, I thought there were, there were better matters to take to court than this. Really, what do they want? Uh, they, do they want the notes that have been printed to be thrown away? How, we, how is that in the interest of the country? And are they telling us that we, the, the objective of the initiative taken, the steps taken by CBK, is wrong? So that is why I call them busy bodies. Because who has sent them? Where have they called a rally? These guys who are uh, going to court. You know, I spoke about this matter, that this matter has to be done carefully. Uh, that, I think, was not captured well. I think Rollins is the one who interviewed me, and I said that uh, I, there are advantages. In any initiative you take, 
there are advantages and disadvantages. So we must make sure that we mitigate against the weaknesses. And I'm sure our cent CBK had learned a lot from the Indian uh, um, uh, of experience. Uh, one, you know, this thing is going to help us in mopping out the illicit money in the market and uh, uh, streamline, uh, formalize the financial system and send a warning to people that it is not um, profitable to keep money in your homes or to, uh, to keep money in the holes. Do uh, you dig holes to keep money? But if not handled carefully, it may lead to inflation because you are going to bring a lot of money into circulation all of a sudden. So too much money chasing too few goods causes inflation. I learned that in basic accounting uh, principle. So the CBK, I'm sure, are prepared to deal.